hi guys welcome back to across nigeria this is where we do news on politics celebrities and also metro stories we also do um, analysis on politics and any news that is trending across nigeria from bad to worse for ganduje as his it takes huge shocking step ahead of the rerun it is no news that um, most of the states in Nigeria were uh, declared inconclusive by INEC after the poll that took place on the 9th of March 2019. So, um, Kano State, one of the you know states that a lot of people, all eyes on them, were also declared inconclusive, where um, opposition, the PDP, had to shake gandu jail very well until well we all knew what um happened during that election until there were there, there was no other option than to declare the election inconclusive so that the both contestants will have to you know prepare themselves again and come back for another fight all right so that is by the way alaji ashim suleiman the senior special assistant on urban beautification to governor Uma Ganduje, Ganduje, however you call it, not from there, has tendered his letter of resignation to secretary to the state government ahead of the state governorship rerun. In his letter of resignation, he attributed his reason to the failure of governor Ganduje to concede defeat to the Guba candidate of the People Democratic Party. So now um, what what this man is trying to say is that um, the election that was uh, declared inconclusive um, was meant for the PDP candidate. Yes, that's what he's trying to say here because um, now I, I, I remember the news about this inconclusive election because it was it was um, left for one local government i think nasarawa to tender their results after the collation of other local government and so on so the collation agent um the returning officers everybody they were you know announcing the result until they decided to take a break um, but after deciding to take a break for about some few minutes, it came as a breaking news that the collation officer or the returning officer from Nasarawa State just called in to say that um, talks came into uh, the INEC office in Nasarawa State or talks, I don't know whatever, how, how, how they put it, but um, the call said they could not bring the results from Nasarawa, okay? Uh, reason is that talks invaded the INEC office and made away with election results and so on. So that was how the election was declared inconclusive. So my 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 mind, I I have a, a deep thought about this. Now the PDP were leading with some margins. Okay. Now who would have been the person involved because it is those talks will not just sit on their own i don't know if they are talks if they are hoodlums however you call it those guys won't stay on their own without being on a mission either from one of these politicians okay so i i, I am not trying to point fingers on anybody or so but we should be able to tell ourselves the truth why 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 so desperate about being in in a position or or so on okay so because of that the election was declared inconclusive and remember what happened in the kitty state okay um remember what happened in the kitty state when the result was declared inconclusive they have to do a rerun and at the end of the day we knew what happened so now in Nigeria, everybody now knows that whenever election is declared inconclusive, I mean, they have made it so obvious that we we already know how the drama goes. 
You know, Nigeria is like Nigerian movie, baby. If you have been watching Nigerian movie, you, you know what will happen even before it happens. So that is how Nigerian election is. Now, whenever a result is declared inconclusive in Nigeria, we already know the outcome of that result. That is just the truth. But it's not supposed to be so um, in a country where we are still operating democracy. I mean, we are in 21 and a half century, or we are in 22 century, so it's not supposed to happen that way. But however the case may be, this man sent out his own resignation letter because he knew that the PDP won the election. All right? So let's, let's, let's see what he said here. In his resignation, he attributed his reason to the failure of Governor Ganduje to concede defeat to the Guba candidate of the PDP, Kabi Yusuf, okay, who won the election that has been declared inconclusive in controversial circumstances by INEC. Now, his reason here made me applaud him so much. So the letter of resignation dated Wednesday, March 13, 2019, which he personally signed, reads, I write to formally inform you of my voluntary resignation from the office of the SSA beautification. He added that as a transparent Kadimu Islam, the governor ought to have considered defeat so as to serve as a president to other Muslims who serve Allah in truth and sincerity. One thing I love about these people of uh, the Muslims, they stand by the truth. Okay. Um I'm not saying Christians don't stand by the truth, but it is it is mostly attributed to Muslim. I give them the percentage more than Christians. Um, I'm not saying I'm a Muslim. Okay, I'm a Christian, but I gave them that um, accolade. They stand by the truth. Um, you barely see. Well, let me let me not go through the stories. Okay, so this man resigned voluntarily because he knew if he continues working for his boss, his conscience will not allow him. So he said, ah, instead of working here without with, with without clear conscience, I mean. He now sees his boss as a traitor. It means he's not comfortable there. There are some good men, just like uh, what some women said. Uh, no matter how bad men are, some women will tell you there are some good men out there. And some will tell you all men are the same. A lot, will, plenty will still tell you there are some good men out there. So um, it's still the same thing that attributes to this man. So he resigned voluntarily because he knew PDP won the election, but his boss, because of personal and selfish interest, um, he didn't want to concede defeat. But he, he would have done so just to show other Muslim that, well, this is what we stand for. We stand by the truth. When we see the truth, we go for the truth. So the man voluntarily resigned from his office. All right, so recall that um, police in Kano had taken the state deputy governor, Nasiru, and the state commissioner for local government, Alaji Sule Garu, into custody over alleged threat to public peace. The two were arrested for alleged disruption of collation of results of the governorship election at Nasara local government area collation center, and that was the same local government area where the election um they they cancelled the election and they made it inconclusive because of that local government so now if these two men here did not let, let's get to the facts here if these men did not um interrupt the collation of those results i i believe they they did it so because of what they saw Okay, so uh, I don't really know what to say here, but Nigeria, we really need to sit up. I don't know how to put it. I'm not saying that Nigeria is not trying. We are trying, but we really need to, you know, sit up. These things um, will not happen. Imagine in just elect, just for a country's election, you, you, it, it takes about months just to conclude the election in Nigeria. It's, 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 I, 
I barely see it happen in other countries, seriously. But in Nigeria, imagine seven states out of the 36 states we have in Nigeria, seven states were declared inconclusive. I mean, it's not supposed to be so. It means we are really going backward. We are not going forward. All right, guys, if you have any contribution to make on this story, you can do that on the comment section below without wasting much of your time. I'm going to sign out. I will see you in the next video.